up to now, Sansa has been a piece that other people have moved about the board to achieve their own goals. Using her, discarding her, using her for, for a different purpose. You know, you're going to marry Joffrey. No, you're going to marry Loras. You're going to marry Tyrion. She is beginning to at least try to understand how she can play the Game of Thrones and be not a piece, but a player. She's not even a wild child like Arya. She can't fight with swords, but she has her wits, the same as Littlefinger has. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this is gonna be a video about the Winds of Winter excerpt that George R. R. Martin just posted. There's also a couple other things that he announced like Winds of Winter coming 2016, you know, fingers crossed. I know everyone's pooping their pants about the Sansa chapter, but just to explain what he said about Winds of Winter in 2016, he just said he's canceling everything that he can to finish Winds of Winter in 2016. He didn't say at the beginning, he didn't see at the end. Typically, most of his books have been released in winter time. I don't know a whole lot about behind the scenes in, in the publishing industry and you know why more books sell in the winter than they sell in the spring. I know a little bit more about the movie industry. Like big movies mostly come out like tentpole movies in the spring and then the summer, but it's not the same for the book industry. Really what I would expect, based on the way he's talking about it, is Winds of Winter, earliest you can expect it, is winter of 2016. So like before season seven of Game of Thrones. That seems pretty realistic, like say like October, November of 2016. I don't expect that estimate to change any time between now and the end of season five. Like season five, only gonna be like 10 weeks. That's nothing in George R. R. Martin time. Like if it takes him four or five years to write a book, then, then 10 weeks is like a drop in the bucket. There is some news about a TV series that he's developing at HBO, but it's not Game of Thrones related, so I'll, I'll just mention it at the end of this video. Just careful for spoilers if you don't want to know anything about this like really small Sansa excerpt from Winds of Winter, but it has everyone pooping their pants just a little bit. What's going on in the excerpt is Sansa going under her pseudonym, Elaine Stone. Remember, Littlefinger gave her a fake name when they went to the Vale so that no one would know that she's Sansa Stark. So that's why the name Sansa doesn't appear a whole lot in the text. We find out that she's planning to work her femininely wiles on Harold Harding, who is the heir to Robert Aaron, or Sweet Robin, this guy right here. Up to this point in the books, Littlefinger has passed her off as like a relatively minor noble. So, you know, it's much easier to say marry her off to a lesser person who isn't right in line for succession. Although Harold Harding is actually pretty close. The reason everyone's pooping their pants is because Sansa is acting a lot more like Littlefinger scheming and plotting to win over Harold Harding so that they'll marry and she'll be in line to become Lady of the Vale if something were to happen to Sweet Robin. So a lot of people are getting the feeling from this excerpt that Littlefinger and Sansa are going to plot to kill Sweet Robin so that Harold Harding will become the new heir of the Vale and if she's married to him, she'll have control of the Vale. In the timeline of the excerpt, Harold Harding's getting ready to ride off to a tournament. It's the Brotherhood of the Winged Knight and Sansa wants to give him her favor. So, you know, kind of like slowly win him over. We see a picture here of Sansa and Littlefinger in season five at what looks like a tournament, which is a nice twist on their season one moment when he was kind of creeping on her a little bit in the stands. It looks like the TV show is going to do a version of this, but there is no Harold Harding character, so they're going to have to substitute someone else for him. If you look here, Sansa is in the crypts in Winterfell, so it looks like some of this might overlap with her being at Winterfell. So they're going to blend a lot of those elements together. Like there's a lot of Ramsay Bolton stuff, and then there's a lot of Sansa stuff that don't necessarily cross over in the books. That might change in Winds of Winter, and it looks like Season 5 is going to incorporate some elements from Winds of Winter. Or at least story beats that the showrunners know George R. R. Martin is heading for, even if he hasn't officially announced. Really, this Sansa excerpt is just the latest in several excerpts that he's released. Like, he'll post a new one at least once a year. There was a really fun Arian Martell one a little while ago. So he'll like, you know, he'll post and remove, but usually you can find him somewhere on the internet. What I'll probably do is I'll do more book videos as we push through season five, because I think by the end of season five, we'll be relatively in line for most things in Winds of Winter. Like, there, there won't be any more book spoilers to be given. There might be a few small ones, so it's always try to be careful and, and give spoiler warnings if I'm talking about stuff from the books of the show. But what this excerpt is telling you to get hyped for in season five is Diabolical Sansa. She and Arya on very similar revenge plots. Sansa just has a slightly different mentor than Arya has. Arya's gonna learn from the Faceless Men of Bravos. She's gonna become like a, like a real assassin. Sansa's gonna be slaying some beasts too, but she's gonna be going about it in a more Littlefinger type way. I think the real question is, is will she ever ultimately take back Winterfell? I, I think if this Vale plot comes off the way they want it to, the way Sansa and Littlefinger want it to, she will. But if we've learned anything from Game of Thrones, it's that no plan goes the way you want it to. 
If you're not familiar with the Harold Harding character, he's actually the nephew of John Aaron, the former Lord of the Vale. Remember, he was murdered in the events leading up to season one and book one. He's Robert's father, or Sweet Robin's father, this guy. The really funny thing about the Vale that they haven't gotten too deep in on the show is that Ned and Robert Baratheon were both kind of raised by John Aaron for a good portion of their life, their young life. So a lot of people think that Robert left a whole bunch more Gendrys just walking around the Vale. He was a noted man whore his entire life. So the bastards we learned about in season one are not the only bastards. You just have to remember that the show kind of simplifies all these things. So like there were a couple bastards we saw on the TV show. Like we saw two notable bastards, like the baby that they killed and Gendry. So if we see any more noble bastards, they'll probably be, you know, much, much fewer in number. Here's my big question for you guys. Who do you think they're going to substitute for the Harold Harding character in season five of Game of Thrones? Because it seems like Sansa is going to be doing something just a little bit sneaky. I almost forgot too. George R. R. Martin also promised like a big new WTF character reveal, like a, a big plot point that he had not previously considered. He didn't say which character it was for. Because it's taking him longer to get Winds of Winter out, he's thought of some new ideas that he didn't previously have. It could be anything from mystery bloodlines, new abilities. Typically, when there's like a big character reveal, it's like a character finding out about parents that they didn't know they had, which I, I know everyone's really excited to hear about, especially Jon Snow. Or it's a character taking a really WTF action that they hadn't previously thought about, like Tyrion killing Tywin. As diabolical as Tyrion seems, killing his father was a big turning point. So I would think whatever this new thing is, it's going to be something on that level for one of the characters. And he didn't say if it was going to be a main character or if it was going to be a supporting character. Martin also released some details about the HBO show that he's developing right now. And just to clarify, it's not Game of Thrones. It's like a, a sci-fi series, like a drama series about a sci-fi writer in the 1940s that's writing things that everyone else is afraid to write about. There was a flashback episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine where Cisco ends up being this sci-fi writer. It's, it's like a time travel mind warp kind of thing where he writes about DS9, but in the episode, he's like a 1940s, 1950s sci-fi writer. So it's like, how could you think about this space station with all these aliens in this galactic war? Whenever Martin said 1940s sci-fi writer, that's just where my mind went. He hired a writer to develop the pilot. So don't worry, this isn't going to affect the Winds of Winter release. It's just going to be like a fun new sci-fi show from George R. R. Martin, which I think is actually pretty cool. There hasn't been any news about the HBO Now service. They're, they are rolling out like HBO Go on a couple other devices, but I'm expecting them to open it up for subscriptions, the HBO Now stuff, at least by next week, because we're like within two weeks of the Game of Thrones premiere. As soon as that opens up, I'll start using that as the giveaway. Like that will be what the giveaway is for. Until then, it'll be a $20 Amazon gift card, which reminds me, congratulations to this week's giveaway winner. Michael Folletti, you win a $20 Amazon gift card. Just be sure to DM me on the back end of my channel. If you don't know where that is, it's on the about page. I just need to get your contact info. So I'm going to try and get a new character bonus video out next week. Be sure to subscribe to get that. If you have any special requests on, on who you want that character to be, just leave them in the comments. If you haven't seen it yet, Jamie Lannister posted a fun teaser. Jamie Lannister himself. You can click here to learn all about that. Secret Targaryens running around maybe. And you can click here for my Daenerys Targaryen predictions for season five. Thank you so much for watching. Let's all high five. I'll see you guys tonight.